Hey y'all, let me cut my music down so everybody can see this video on their cell phones. Wanted to come in and do a video. I think it's um really important. I got a um, question on my video I did about losing the stomach. Um, I wrote her name down, Jornay Jicks. Jornay something. Um, asked me a really good question. She wanted to know how. She wanted to know how can she eat healthy. How can she afford to eat healthy and to buy healthy foods when she's on a budget? She's in college. She's not working right now. She really want to start eating healthy and she really want to start working out. So, you know, what would I do? I'm going to tell you something. But let me get into something really quick that happened to me this weekend also, which is something that, you know, is going to help a lot of you guys. I didn't get into this um, lifestyle change or whatever to get to the point where I am. I just did it just, just to lose weight. And like I said before, over time, my body changed, my appetite, my appetite changed, my eating habits changed, and everything. So you, first of all, you have to plan because if you don't have healthy foods in your home, and all you have is unhealthy stuff, and you're hungry, you're gonna eat unhealthy stuff, like I did. <laughs> like I did this weekend. You know, I was feeling bad. Even though I went to the concert all Saturday after I picked up my daughter, I was in the room. You know, I had someone told me about the tens. Um, electronic thing. I had one, but I completely forgot about it. So thank you whoever reminded me about that. I put it on my leg and foot and stuff and you know, didn't really help. Because as soon as I took it off, I didn't, I didn't feel the pain, you know, when it was doing this action, but when I took it off, the pain was still there. Anyway, um, what happened to me was, you know, like I said, I was in pain and I was like, I, you know, I wasn't going anywhere and I ran out of healthy stuff. I had ran out of bananas and you know my almonds and stuff because I was eating those mostly all day almonds bananas and water and I think I had some vegetables I ate there and I'm like okay I'm out of healthy food I, I don't have anything to eat and I was really hungry Excuse me, I'll take your order. yes I just need a large cup of ice water yeah, yeah. that's it that would be 22 cents 22 cents okay thank you okay I'm gonna tell you why I did that in a few minutes so what happened was um I went in the freezer and it was some, I think some pork chops in there, some steak, and some chicken. So, of course, I took out the chicken. It was only like four chicken um, drumsticks. So, I, so I said, okay, I'm just going to eat that chicken. So, I took out the chicken, you know, I thought they cooked it in a healthy way in the oven. I just, you know, seasoned it with garlic powder, some cayenne pepper, and um, I put a little dash on each side. It's a little of the seasonal. You know, you can have some salt. You know, some you need some salt in your diet. You know, I don't really eat salt, so I just put a little bit, you know. So I ate that. I was hungry too, y'all. I had four of them. They was real tiny, though. But anyway, I ate, ate them. Got to that second one. My mouth started to water. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to be sick because I haven't eaten chicken in so, so long. I think the last time I ate some chicken was when you guys saw me eating that salad downtown with my daughter. And believe it or not, I had problems passing that chicken but anyway ate the chicken and be, now before I, I had ate some chicken it, it made me sick you know I was it, it, it just made me feel funny and it was I felt as if I was passing a brick that was a, you know a while back so I said okay I'm eat this chicken and I'm got to the third piece and I'm eating it and I'm like okay I couldn't eat the fourth one so three tiny little chicken drumsticks I said breast chicken little drumsticks ate that and I said, okay, my mouth watery, feel less, I know I got that feeling like I'm going to throw up. You know how you, you know, drink over, you know, you get, you drink, <laughs> you know how you drink too much and you get that feeling, you swear to God, I'm never going to drink again. That's how I be feeling when I eat certain foods, like that chicken. So what I did was, I said, okay, I went and took my digestive tea so I can wake up the next morning and, you know, pass it out, have a bowel movement. Took my digestive tea, went to sleep, woke up Sunday. And I, I just, I felt heavy. I can tell the difference in my stomach. It just felt heavy and, you know, it was, he and it was a little big. And I'm like, okay. I knew then, okay, that was a turning point. I'm, you know, I could honestly say I'm, I'm through with chicken. I, I, I don't need it in my life. So that's why you have to prepare. You put you, prepare your, your meals. I hear when folks watch me record. I'm just recording and talking to myself. And they just looking like, what's going on over there? No, God, I'm recording. And they just looking at me, uh, old lady, and hey lady, like she about 90, her little wig, nice little lady. And um, <laughs> anyway, um, it, y'all, it took me until 11.30 now, because I watched the time, it took me until 11.30, 11.30. It took me until 
to pass that damn chicken out of my system. And then when I did go to the bathroom, it felt like I was past the brick. I'm like, well, I be damn. Don't need it in my life. I don't want it. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm going to do is pay this guy. Hold on. I'm sorry, ma'am. Thank you. So, um, okay. So what I'm going to do is, I just left the gym, and I did, I did it. I did, you know, really light because I, you know. I'm, Felt a little better, so you know I had to keep moving. So I only did no no incline. I think I'm through with the incline. So I just did 47 minutes on the on the cross trainer, and that was it. So what I'm going to do is um I ordered this water so I can have that McDonald's cup because what I'm going to do is like go home and get cleaned up. You know, I want to go to the because I want to take my time. I don't, you know, I'm all sweaty and stuff. I'm going home and clean up, eat a little something for breakfast. I got some bananas. I went to the store this morning, got some strawberry and bananas. I ate a couple of bananas for breakfast and I'm going to go home, make me a smoothie and eat some vegetables and get clean up and stuff. And water? yeah, you have a lovely day, ma thank you, you too. Thank you, so, what I'm going to do is, um, around lunchtime, right before lunch, I'm going to. Um, go to Walmart and stock up on my healthy stuff. I'm going to stock up my refrigerator again with what I eat. I got that water because, I, like I just said, I wanted that cup because I'm going to go to Walmart and Walmart always, you know, tempts me, you know, I, I, I walk in, I'm smelling those fried shrimps that be cooking. I usually eat the hell out of those and I'm smelling stuff and I'm like, oh, you know, so to help me from being tempted to buy bull crap, I'm just going to make me a of smooth before I leave home and I'm gonna put it in here. So that's why I got this cup. And I'm not gonna fill this whole cup up with the smooth. I just like this cup because you know y'all y'all know McDonald's cup like these that don't sweat. The styrofoam cups so I like that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just going to browse. Oh let me get back to let me get to your question because baby I'm all over the place. Baby what you're gonna have to do is you have to eat. Plain and simple. You have to eat if you are really serious about you know Start eating healthy, whatever. If you got, I mean, you eat, you eating something. You know, you you don't have a job or whatever, but you you eating something. So however you, however you are, however you're getting your money to buy food, you just need to do what I'm getting ready to do. Go to Walmart. That's like one of the cheapest places you can go to buy produce. Just browse the produce out. Get your some. Get your fruit. Get your vegetables. Um. If you are in school, I don't know, I guess I don't know if you're living at school or at home, but if you're in school and you're eating out of the cafeteria, they got healthy stuff now. You just have to pick the healthy options. Um, there's a lot of stuff I eat besides what I just showed in the video. So I'm going to go and, uh, like I just said, browse the produce out and give me some more fruit. And once again, our fruit is not good fruit. You can eat too many fruits and, you know, it's not good for you. Uh, my husband, I've said this before in the video, my husband has high blood pressure. And, you know, he called himself eating healthy. So, you know, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and stuff and snacks, he would, you know, incorporate fruits into his um, diet. I mean, he was eating a hell of a lot of grapes, you know, strawberries, pears, peaches, plums, just, just all day long. And he went to the doctor and she um, ran his blood. And she said, um, you've been eating a lot of fruit, have you? haven't you? And she even like, yeah, how you know? One, something in, in his blood, that sugar or something, they call it, it was so elevated, it was too high. She told him to lay off that. Don't, don't eat no more fruit for right now. Believe it or not, don't eat no more fruit for right now. Then when you start back eating fruit, you know, no, just cut it down. So I'm assuming, you know, a little is okay. You know, a handful of grapes or whatever, which has a lot of sugar. I'm assuming, I'm assuming, you know, a peach or whatever. You know, every now and then, it's okay, but you just can't constantly sit back and eat a whole bag of fruit. I mean, you can't sit back and eat a whole bag of um, grapes. You just can't sit back and eat five, six, seven peaches thinking it's healthy. That's a lot of sugar. So, I'm going to do more research on my own to see exactly which fruits have a lot of sugar. Like I said, I know for a fact I read was grapes and strawberries too if you eat too much strawberries. So, I'm going to come back on my strawberry because like I said, I don't really care for strawberries, believe it or not. I just... It just blends well with my um, bananas, but I'm getting ready to um, switch to like mangoes 
I'm gonna go buy some mangoes today. Um, I got a piece of damn popcorn kernel stuck up in my gum. So I'm gonna laugh at popcorn and I'm gonna just stroll the house and just look and see, you know, what I can eat that I haven't eaten, you know, in years and years and years. I'm gonna look into um what they call it, um, um, um rice cakes. I'm gonna look into, you know, I'm gonna look on the back just because they say it's healthy, don't mean it's healthy. So I'm gonna look at the back of it and just see, you know, how much sodium is in it or whatever. And I might just switch out my popcorn for my rice case. Um, like I say, just just buy me a lot of more fruit so I can maybe juice, you know, like I was talking about this. So I'm, I might start, you know, juicing or whatever. And I'm just gonna be prepared. Just stock my fridge again. And I, and you know, the way I work out. When I was working out, you know, before I got hurt, you know, I was going over an hour and a half. And I've said this also before, your body needs more food when you work out like that. So, like I said, I was, I, I was, being, I was hungry. So, over the weekend, or well, Saturday, I'm like, you know what, I ain't had a cheap meal in, in, in a while. So, I'm like, shit, I'm going to, what else I got in there? Because, you know, I ain't got, you know, nothing healthy. I, it was some potatoes. I had, the, I had some small, those little uh, red potatoes. Those little small buttery ones. Baby, I had peeled those. I said, you no know, problem. Maybe some french fries. I'm hungry as hell. And I, that's my cheat meal. I ain't had no fries in a long time. So, um, oh, that was Sunday. Take that back. I ate that chicken Saturday. Sunday, I ate those fries. And they was good, y'all. I cut them up and peeled them. And, um, you know, cut them up in thin little small little fries. And I put just a little dash, like a, I mean, a dash of flour. Because I like my fries crunchy. So, I put like a little flour on there and fried them. And I drain them really good. And I put some, I, I eat barbecue sauce with my fries. I'm from the country. I don't eat ketchup. I eat barbecue sauce. And I ate that plate of fries, baby. I was so good. It was so good. And I just drank a lot of water so I can get full. And I didn't have a problem this morning, you know, going to the bathroom. So, you know, it's okay to eat like that sometimes. But, um, not no chicken. But those fries was good, y'all. Anyway, baby, you, you got to eat. You have to eat. So, you just got to cut back on some things, you know, in order to afford food. Do stuff yourself. If you plant pan them Asians to do your eyebrows, do that shit yourself. Go on YouTube and figure it out. Put on your own eyelashes if you into eyelashes, if you into nails. I ain't gonna say don't get your nails done. But what you can do is look up nail techs and find somebody who do quality work that can do your nails and they're gonna last for three weeks. Some people wear their nails three and four weeks before they can go back and get a refill. Me personally I can't do it. I'm finna go do my nails right now. I take a shower and stuff and go to Walmart. But um you just got to cut back on if entertaining or whatever you're doing. If you're buying hair and all of that stuff, you be like, you got to be like, oh, I got to eat. You know, food is high. Food is high. High, high, high. So, also, like I said, I haven't been eating a lot of meat. So, and I, you know, that's why I ate that chicken. I'm like, man, I'm hungry. I'm going to go buy some um shrimp. I haven't, had, I haven't had shrimp in a long time. Well, since I went to that pie restaurant. House of Pies. But um, I'm going to go give me some shrimp. And eat shrimp maybe a couple of times a week. I'm not gonna eat it every day like I used to because I just, you know, I'm just loving my results. But yeah, you gotta just cut back on some stuff, be prepared, and just go buy it. You know, you got to go buy it. And again, if you're eating in the cafeteria or whatever, my ringtone. Um, yeah, you just gotta pick healthy stuff and and you know, you'll feel better, you really you really will. Like I said, I didn't plan on getting to this point. So I guess that's how vegetarians feel when they eat meat and they get sick. So yeah. But uh, I ate some bacon the uh, last week. They didn't make me sick, so bacon is still in my diet sometimes. Sometimes, but yeah, that's it. I think I hit everything. I'm at 14 minutes, I'm getting ready to start repeating myself so yeah let me go ahead and do something to this head and and um just browse the owls with my smoothie just browse the owls and look at you know some healthy options of stuff um squ squash i haven't eaten squash in a while so i'm looking i'm gonna look at squash and and cook it like my grandmother used to i forgot how she did i'm gonna call her and ask her how she cooked squash but um I think that's it. I think that's it. You just you just gotta do it. Alright y'all, holla.